Hey, so this is Minecraft the card game. I'm going to go over the rules real quick and let you guys know how it works. Uh, so in the game, you have your resource cards and your craft cards, um, and that's all you need. Uh, so basically every turn, each player gets two possible actions that they can do. They can uh, mine which means that you take one of these cards and you pull it into your collection. You can craft, which you use your resources that are in your collection, and you match up the resources to craft one of these cards. Or you can reserve, which they give you these little stands, and that what reserve means is you can pick up one of these cards, you stick it in your reserve stand and then you can save that card in your inventory so that only you can craft it whenever you build up your resources and then once you build up the resources you can use one of your two actions to craft this resource card so on any turn you can do any combination of actions you can mine two times you can craft two times if you have the resources uh, and you can only reserve once so once you reserve this card is in your reserve until you actually craft that card then you can reserve again later so you could mine and reserve or you could craft and reserve um, but those are your turns so um, if there are two players or three players or four players that'll change uh, what the winning objective is. So um, in any case, getting the most points is how you win. Well, when you craft, you craft these cards that have numbers at the top or bottom. And then you add up those numbers with your crafted items to get your total score. Uh, so for instance, if it's two players, it's 24. If it's three players, it's 20. If it's four players, it's 16. Uh, and that is how you win. So you also have these symbols in the corner that are your tools. So the tools have different abilities um, that allow you to use them once and you'll flip a card over. So when you take a resource and you put it in your inventory, you put it like this and it tells you what you can do. So for instance, if you craft something that has a sword, if you pull a creeper out of the resource pile, you stop it from taking its action on you. So there are a couple of special cards in this deck. So while you're taking resources, you do have the option of finding a TNT card. So if you find a TNT card, what it does is it explodes and it gets rid of the top resources from every pile. And then the person who revealed the TNT card gets to keep two cards for themselves to put in their collection and then they put the other cards along with the TNT card into the discard pile. So there are gold, there's wood, there is a mystery card which is uh, just a, a any symbol that you want it to be. You can see on here it has the wood, diamond, gold, and you can use it for any purpose. So there are cards like this that have two or three on them. You can only use them as one resource. You can't split them across multiple resources. And then also, if we can find one in here, there's a creeper card. So on the creeper card, if this is revealed, every player who's in the game has to get rid of one of their resource cards of their choosing and put it in the discard pile. So you do that. Those are the basics of the game. You just take turns, you each get your two actions, and maybe more actions or less actions depending on the tool cards that you do. And the first person to get to uh, the point requirement is the player that wins. And that is Minecraft the card game.